What is good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to some more World of Tanks. My good friend VHD Jokers has sent me something else to check out, so it's a guest replay featuring him once again today. You may have seen the video the other day of him taking out the E50 on Ravage Capital, aka Paris. This time around, he's taking out the Object 140 here on Muravanka in a standard battle. So, two capture points, one base for each team. You guys know how standard battle works. I shouldn't have to explain it. But just in case you don't, each team has a base capture point. But it's preferable. Well, you really should be aiming to just kill the entire enemy team. Because it's you get much more experience for doing that. And that's what you should do. But VHD Jokers or Jokers as I call him, is moving into this bush early game to try and get some spots on enemy targets up ahead that normally crest the ridge just in front of him on the 2-3 line. But nothing spotted as of yet, although now an enemy chieftain has popped up and that's a very good position for a chieftain to be in, allowing it to use its 10 degrees of gun depression and putting the highly accurate gun to work. That's where I like to position my chieftain and that's where I would be if I was in the chieftain on the enemy team. The Jokers gets himself in a little bit of trouble right here. He doesn't back up in time to not take that shot from the enemy chieftain but he's only taken one shot and it's not too much to sacrifice at this point in the game. Ideally, he would have liked to have not taken that shot, but I know that he won't mind too much. So, the enemy team have pushed up way up, and they are doing a flanking maneuver right now. The first shot on the 430, unfortunately, did not go through, but the second shot did. This shell is going to go straight through and damage the Object 430's fuel tank, and I would imagine that the next shell, yep, set the fuel tank on fire, and then... The, uh, the Object 430 got wiped off the face of the earth by the Jaegeru popping the Object 430's turret like an absolute boss. Now, none of Jokers' team went to the forest early game, which has allowed this play to sort of unfold how it has. And as Jokers is backing up here to get into a safer position, the AMX 1390 on the enemy team spotted him. But the Object 140's shooting on the move ability showing exactly just how good it is by Jokers being able to reverse and get a shot into the 1390 while damaging his Amorak in the process. So potentially doing a nice amount of damage to the 1390 in the sense that he has now incapacitated the 1390's ability for the rest of the game. Spotting the Waffle Panzer IV in the lower ground once again. He's just going to move back into cover. And he's going to fire at the targets over in this location. There is an enemy chieftain. As well as the 1390 which Jokers got a shot into earlier. And we can't get a good shot into the chieftain at this angle. He needs the chieftain to be more aggressive. Like he is going to do now. To allow Jokers to get a shot through the chieftain's lower glacis. Taking him up to six damaging hits so far this game. The Chieftain is going to push up once more. And Jokers once again squeezes a shot through the Chieftain's lower glacis. And backs up into cover before taking a return shell from the Chieftain. Or taking a shot from the AMX 1390. The enemy balance wagon completely slaps the Yeageru that ammo wrecked the object 430 earlier this game but the enemy chieftain then gets taken out and how many times has this happened for you guys because this happens to me all the time Ooh, look the side of a 1390 let's just do track damage i feel for jokers right there it happens to me so often that i've lost count now he needs to duck down before the chieftain gets a shot at him but luckily he dodges that shell successfully and the chieftain which damaged him earlier doesn't do any more damage now currently the enemy team are pushing his base once again. The enemy team are in the lead at this point by two tanks. It is 7-5 to the opposition. Now Jokers is going to try and get a shot through the 100s lower glacis. But unfortunately that one went slightly high. 
and bounced off of the E100s. Upper Glacis. The AMX 1390 pulls a very stupid move right here. He just rushes forward without realizing how many tanks are around this corner. And Jokers is just going to track him down, stick two shells into him before his friendly Tiger finishes the AMX 1390 off. Now the Chieftain is moving forward on this side as well. Jokers knows the Chieftain has just fired. But he's going to wait for him to fire again, which he does now. And Jokers knows he has an opportunity to push up and stick a shot into the Chieftain. Being able to retreat in time so as not to take a shot from the Chieftain. But then the friendly Ag Tiger finishes off the Chieftain as well. So Joker swaps his attention back to the other side. Constantly swapping between defending the right hand side and the left hand side at this point. The E100 isn't focusing on Jokers, so Jokers tracks him in place, but none of his friendly teammates are in a position to do damage to the E100 while he is mobile. So Jokers tries it again, tracks the E100 in position, hoping for some nice assisted damage, but again, none of his teammates are in a position to be able to hit the E100, and he doesn't reap the rewards for doing so. So he repositions, Looking over the right hand side now, just checking that nothing's pushing from that direction. He's going to swing back around to the left. And the E100 is in a position now where Jokers can get a shot through his lower glacis, which he does before backing into cover. So Jokers is going to focus his attention to the Waffle now, damaging the Waffle's gun with that shot. The Waffle's taking a shot. He's not focusing on Jokers at all. Jokers gets another shot in. Neither is the E100. And just as the Waffle backs up, Jokers finishes him off. The E100 switches his attention to Jokers now, but having just fired a shell, Jokers knows that he can push up and stick a shot through the weak lower glacis of the E100. He's baiting the E100 here. The SU-14-2 just stuck a nice, big, high-explosive round on the E100's upper glacis. Jokers bounces the E100's return round off the well-angled side of the rounded turret that the Object 140 sports. Switching his attention to make sure that the Object 140 on the enemy team isn't going to push him. He unfortunately doesn't finish off the E100 with that shell right there because it low... Well, didn't low roll, but it didn't roll high enough for him to thin, finish him off without having to use another round of ammunition. But Jokers realizes that this IS-7 here in the lower ground has more health and he is completely isolated. So Jokers moves over this way. Unfortunately, as some of the health from the IS-7 gets robbed. And then the Object 704 finishes him off. So the game has completely turned on its head at this point. Jokers is up to 19 hits of damage with 5 assisted hits and 13 critical hits. And now it is 8 versus 3. Because the enemy balance wagon just got taken out by the Batshat 25T. Jokers spots the Object 140. Auto aims a shot through his lower glacis. Pushes the enemy object 140 aggressively. The 140 is focusing on the action 10 Centurion. Completely misses Jokers. Jokers tracks the object 140 by ramming him. And now finishes him off. Taking him up to 2 kills and 22 hits of damage. So the Ramital Borsa gets taken out. And now there's just a T28 prototype left on the enemy team. And assuming... He is going to be over it in this location because he's not been spotted for the entire game. And he should be on full health, which he is. And Jokers is in a position to crest the ridge line in front of him and shoot the T-28 through the side. T-28 has no armor whatsoever on the sides. No problem for Jokers to go through. Unfortunately, rolls low there for 291 and doesn't secure the kill. But a very good game nonetheless. So let's check out the post-game stats. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so as you can see, Jokers picked up a very nice result from that game. He picked up the high caliber medal and a first class mastery badge, as well as the sniper medal and a confederate medal, racking up a grand total of 7,744 damage, 24 penetrations, 2 enemy tanks destroyed, 1,150 assisted damage and 750 damage blocked from where the E100 shell ricocheted off of the side of his turret. He picked up 107,000 silver as well as 2,403 experience. 
Taking a look at the team results, he topped his team by an absolute mile, did about 4,000 more damage than his closest competitor in the Object 704. And we can see from the statistics that Jokers fired 29 shells, 29 of those directly hit the targets and 24 penetrated. So 29 shots fired and all 29 shots fired hit the mark. That is very, very impressive indeed. What a decent game in the Object 140. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you did enjoy as always. I will catch you in the next one. Until then, have a good day. Peace out. Boom, 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 boom.